Breaking news. Ex-Vice President Atiku Abubakar goes for consultation to former detector Babangida at Niger residence over 2023 presidency and is a presidential ambition. Yes, um, is as if all would leads to Mina now. Uh, we've seen um, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu uh, being there a few uh, days ago. He's currently now in the UK. And um, so seen Atiku Abubakar tell Nigerians that he, he does not believe in this uh, uh, rotational thing. If the rotational thing is going to work, mm -hmm. that means the North still has four more years to go. You know, uh, he said because the North still has four more years to go. So if they want equality, fairness, justice, they should allow the North complete that four years. Then he can rotate to the South. And um, he wants to go for president as well. We've seen that um, apparently, in quotes and unquote, um, he may be dumping Peter Obi, who was his uh, running mate in 2019, where he contested against President Muhammad Buhari and may be going for um wiki the governor of river state so that's where we are at the moment and um consultations are in full swing um he has not officially yet declared his intention but he has i mean made it known loud and clear with his actions with his reactions and everything that is ready to go uh what we have currently now is that um, the road has led to niger state where the former um, head of state who was more or less a detector ibrahim but amosi babangida uh, leaves to consult with regards to his, in his intention to run for the position of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Let's get all the details. Breaking news, ex-Vice President Atiku Abubakar consult former detector Babangida at his Niger resident over 2023 presidential ambition. The visit was part of his nationwide consultation on his 2023 presidential aspiration. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar on Tuesday visited Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida, former military detector and head of state in Niger State. The visit was part of his nationwide consultation on his presidential aspiration as he goes around for consultation. After meeting with Badamusi Babangida, Atiku visited Governor Abubakar Sani Bello at the government house in Mina leadership reports the former vice president visited babangida the visit lasted for about two hours where they had private discussions and is nothing is not uh it's not uh, unconnected to his presidential ambition as his aide who was with them said it was largely uh, largely connected to his presidential interest to run and to declare but before declaring he wants to consult and make some stakeholders aware of his interest and his intention to run this comes a few weeks after the all progressive congress national leader ashiwaju ahmed bola Tinubu, has visited the same babangida in niger state to get his blessing for his presidential bids Elections are in full swing as more and more aspirants continue to signify and indicate interest on their intention to run for the number one position of the country. So my wonderful people, this is why uh, this is happening right now. Uh, Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida has been a former head of state in Nigeria. We all know about his reign, um, you know, and how that went down. Right now, Nigerians uh, who are interested in going for this position, starting from Tinubu, has gone to see him. Now, uh, one also from the north, uh, uh, Tiku, has also gone to make consultation. Uh, we know that um, they've not gone to see Olusegu Obasanjo, but we know that the, pe the People Democratic Party leadership has gone to see Obasanjo, who apparently uh, told them he was not returning to the party and that was it uh, we did not see uh, we did not see uh, Tinubu go, go to him to make consultation before going to the UK we also did not see Babangida go to him uh, although they apparently served in the same tenure where uh, Obasanjo was the president and, and Atiku was his vice president and they served together between 1999 and 2007 uh, Atiku Abuba came up the first time after uh, you know after they've served 
2019 to consult to conduct or to co to contest in the position to become uh, president of the country and then it was against the current uh, president uh, uh, Lucia uh, I mean it, Buhari where it was decided by the court and the court said it was uh, uh, Bubak, it was uh, Buhari who won that election it was a very stiff one because Nigerians were tired of Buhari and wanted him out at all costs at that point in time however the court disappointed Nigerians by saying um, Buhari won the said election, just like we have the Imo state governor who we've been told, uh, you know, won by the court declaring him the winner. Also, with regards to Buhari second tenure, it was also the same, you know, court system. We hear a lot of, uh, you know, lies, if you want to say that, goes on. Right now, uh, people are beginning to indicate their interest to run for this very number one position or seat. And then various persons are coming up to let Nigerians know that Nigerians know they intend to run for the position. But I still got a very serious question. They are not coming to say, I want to change, for instance, the educational sector. I want to make a mark and a difference. I want to ensure that the education is transforming this nation. I want to do blah, 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 blah. But what they are, what, I mean, I know campaign has not begun, but rather what they are doing, it doesn't feel very much like they have the interest of the country at heart. Maybe it's just me, but it doesn't feel very much like that. It feels very much like they actually can't be bothered and um, they, they know that when they get there, instead of serving, they are the ones being served. So whatever happens, they just want to get there because when you get there, the, the luxury that comes with it, oh my, you don't want to miss it, you see. So that's the way I feel that these people are more focused on what they will get. So my people, this is what it is. Um, consultations have been made. You know, when he came out, we, he said he wanted to become Nigerian's president. Uh, but right now, he's intending to come out again. But the South are saying it is time for the South to get the presidential ticket. And he has uh, released a statement a few days ago to say if really they want equality, transparency, justice, and uh, fairness like the South proclaim, then the South has to display by showing that, you know, uh, the North has four more years to go. Can you believe that? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, we must stick together to make it work. God bless. Bye for now. Bye.